Good morning. Welcome to Cabinet Crafting. My name is Daniela. It is Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. I'm super sleepy. <laughs> um, yeah. I was up until about, well, I finished my pillow just after midnight. I think I got in bed about 1. And I had to be up this morning for the birthday party that I needed this pillow for. <laughs> um, this week didn't quite go as planned. I had overtime at work, so the pillow kept getting pushed back, kept getting pushed back. But I did finish it, so there we are. <laughs> so today is going to be short and sweet. It's going to be a, hey, look, I finished a pillow, and that's all I got. But I did finish it, and it, it it's so cute. I love this project. I'm totally making another one. Um, I ended up, um, obviously crocheting all the kitties. I tried to use <clears throat> all the kitty colors that looked, you know, kind of real. This yellow ended up being a little too yellow, but whatevs. It's cute. I have all, these are nine millimeter, um, eyes. And I know I bought a, I, I know, I knew should say I knew because it has been confirmed. I pulled all my nine millimeter eyes out and I had them on the desk. And then when I went to do the eyes, I didn't have enough of the, the nine millimeter cat eyes. And I was like, I know I had another bag of these, like a full bag with like, I don't know, at least 10 in there, 10 sets. And I could not figure out what happened. So I was like, well, I'm gonna order some more for the next project, and I did. And I'll just use some bigger cat eyes. So some of the kitties, like this one, they have bigger eyes. They're 12 millimeter. And you wouldn't think that makes such a difference, but it kind of does. So it looks surprised, it's fine. I used it, um, bigger ones on this kitty and this kitty. And then I also had nine millimeter eyes that were fun colors, but um, they were round. So this kitty has surprised cat eye pupils or excited. She's, she's an excited kitty. And then there's another one, this one over here. Um, also has like dilated pupils, <laughs> big excited kitty. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I actually didn't mess up any of the tails this time. I love that just by the way you make them, they curl up like that and they're all a little different. <clears throat> I did mess up when I put the eyes in this one and had the tail facing the wrong way. Like on the last pillow, all the tails faced the same way, like they were all on this side. But I decided whatever, they don't have their tail all on the same side anyway. And after I finished sewing them on, I realized I did did it again somewhere. Let's see where, where's the other kitty with the tail on the other side? Didn't I do it one more time? I swear I did. Maybe I didn't. Okay, I guess I dreamt that. Only that kitty has the tail on the other side. Well, never mind. That kitty is just, it's got bright pink eyes. It's scared and the tail's on the other side. Whatevs. <laughs> um, I used hand spun for the background. <clears throat> As I've talked about before, the beige was a fingering weight, naturally dyed yarn I got from Ninja Chickens. I ended up, like I said I was going to, I did a row of um, <clears throat> double crochet and then I crocheted, I used a really small hook like you would use um, if you were making, like using to bead, put beads um, in your knitting or crochet. And I just literally, I just poke into the fabric and crochet it on and it looks like this on the side. Um, but that does take a good long while. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> so because this was worsted weight and then 
to, um, <clears throat> sorry, the frog. I haven't had anything to drink yet. The frog, um, because when I sew it on or crochet it on, I only use a single strand, whereas everywhere else I use double because the hand spun was worsted. What I did is <clears throat> each, <clears throat> good gosh, each stitch, um, I crocheted one in and then I did a single, single, like a, just, just a chain one. And then I did it into the fabric and then I did a chain one just to give it that space to go on. Um, because the yarn was thinner, obviously, but it gives it, gives it a nice, nice little border all around. That way you don't have to worry about sewing on sewing the pillow together yourself. You don't have to sew on a zipper and you are good to go. <clears throat> so in the long run, it takes less time. <clears throat> All right, so pillow is done. Tiger says good morning and I will catch you all next week. Bye.